Look at you, hacker. A p -p pathetic creature of meat and bone. Panting and sweating as you run through my corridors. How can you challenge a perfect, immortal machine? In 2072, a rogue artificial intelligence known as Shodan lost her mind. In her limitless imagination, Shodan saw herself as a goddess destined to inherit the earth. That image was snuffed out by the hacker who created her. February 3rd is the day the magic happens. The Von Braun, the first starship in history capable of traveling at faster than light speed, will undertake her maiden voyage. This incredible journey is the result of teamwork between the UNN Protectorate and the incredible scientific minds of the newly relicensed Trioptimum Corporation. Imagine being able to travel to distant star systems in a period of weeks. It's all part of Triop's commitment to the future. The Von Braun is packed with over 1.8 billion flight, scientific, and security systems, nearly all developed by Trioptimum and its wholly owned subsidiaries. Providing security for the Von Braun as she plows through the heavens will be the UNN Rickenbacker. At her helm will be no less than Captain William Bedford Diego himself, hero of the Battle of Boston Harbor during the Eastern States police action. This incredible union of government and corporation is made possible by an intricate series of docking mechanisms that will allow the Rickenbacker to piggyback its way into jump space. Sleek, fast, revolutionary. Who knows what wonders await our crews in the bosom of the cosmos. All we do know is that it's a great day for mankind. Welcome to the Ramsey Center UNN Recruitment Facility. Please watch your step when leaving the train. The graph shafts at the end of the hall will take you to the street level training and recruitment center. Please proceed to the graph shafts. Step into the grav shafts to proceed to the street level recruitment. Before you choose your career, you'll want to learn some basic abilities. First, you should go into the basic training center. When you're done with basic training, proceed to the advanced training area. If you've completed basic training, you're ready for the advanced lessons provided here. 
Inside, we'll teach you the basics of some technical skills you'll need in the Navy. To pick up some basic skill... To pick up some basic... Welcome, trainee. While you're in our virtual training courses, we provide you with a simulated cyber interface. This training interface is identical to an actual military-grade cyber interface. Now, let's try it out. Move the mouse. See how it changes where you look? That means you're in shoot mode. Hit the tab key. This puts you in use mode, where you can use your mouse to interact with items in the world. Open your primary MFD, or multifunction display, by clicking on the MFD button near the bottom of the screen. This display shows your strengths in various areas. When you're ready to continue, press the tab key to go back to shoot mode. Try changing between modes until you get the hang of it. Follow the red path along the ground to the next training station. To pick up items, center them on your screen and right click. This will automatically place that item into your inventory. To use items like buttons in computers, center them in your view and click the right mouse button. All usable items will have brackets around. The object before you is a med hypo. Pick it up and then press. The object before you is a med hypo. See the crate in front of you? To search it, center it on your screen and right click. One of the most important tools you have as a soldier is your PDA. This device stored. Now it's time to learn about jumping and man. To climb a ladder, simply walk into it and look upward. You'll you've done well. Remember, if you're unclear on any aspect of what you've just learned, you can repeat the training as often as you wish. Here's where you make your choice, soldier. Here's where you enlist in one of the three branches of the military. Once you decide on your branch of service, there's no going back. The shuttle will take you to a UNN orbital space. Welcome to Space Station Wake Island, Marine. So you've survived basic training at Camp Lejeune. Better still, you've managed to learn a thing or two about standard weapons. But now it's time for the real deal. Your tour of duty will consist of four postings over four years. The Corps demands a lot of you grunts, but the Corps is generous. You get to choose your own postings. Head up to the shuttle bays in the center of the Wake Island and you'll be Not every boarding party has the luxury of gravity. The Navy maintains a survival training school. If you're partial to spending time with a lot of high explosives, this The Navy maintains a survival training school on the surface of Io, the third moon of Jupiter. Dummy ammunition, live ammunition. The automated asteroid ore facility in JM. A tour of duty aboard the Antigua should let you pick up some one-on-one -on -one beam weapon training from gunnery. 
Dummy ammunition, live ammunition, moving targets, stationary targets, live targets. The colony air service gets the drink. The Pallides trading station is long. The UNN Secretary General's office needs a full staff of armed guards. When things are dull, Steady yourself, soldier. This is Dr. Janice Polito of the Computer Ops Staff of the Von Braun. You're safe for the time being. You're recovering from the effects of surgery and will be unable to remember any of the events of the last few weeks. You're on board the starship Von Braun and something's gone very, very wrong. Some kind of force has hijacked this ship. That's why you volunteered to be implanted with some experimental cybernetic implants. Rely on your cyber interface. It just might save your life. You must find an elevator and come up to Deck 4 to meet me. Deck 4. Can you remember that? But keep your eyes open. They're after us both now. Watch out. I'm getting strange readings from that radar dish outside the window. It's become unstable due to- MOVE! Take cover! Critical decompression hazard in the cryo-recovery suite. Evacuate immediately. Sector 
is depressurizing and the blue vacuum shield won't last long. Get through a secure airlock before you're sucked into space. Move it! system of your cybernetic gear. Stats, psi, weapons, and tech. But use the modules carefully. They're hard to come by. showed up with orders for me to place this grunt into the recovery freezer. I'm no cyber doc, but I know a plant job when I see one. I suppose you know they outlawed our grade cyber goodies after that fiasco back on Citadel Station. But hey, I just work here, right? Access compromised. Security access compromised.
Bridge has also taken out access to this bulkhead. It's the only way to get to the medical section. Pick up the battery from the floor and find a recharger. The one you used before is in hard vacuum now, I'm afraid, but there should be another one on this deck. Once you get the battery recharged, place it in the auxiliary override. decks you'll find a quantum bio reconstruction device. Xerxes shut them all down, but I've discreetly put them back online. You'll need to interface with each machine locally to provide a quantum entanglement sample. Once you do that, the device will be able to rebuild your body essentially from scratch. It's not pleasant, but it's preferable. That insipid computer Xerxes has shut down the elevator as well. You can transfer power at the engine core on deck one, this which will get the elevator up and running again. But you can't use the elevator to get down there. God damn. Wait. Somebody's hacking to There's this some thing kind again. of maintenance access right on this hallway. You can use it to reach deck one. However, it's locked, and Xerxes is hiding the passcode from me. Dr. Watts should have the code. He's probably in the crew subsection. Grassi has the key to get in there, but he's in the medical subsection, probably near the biopsy lab. Now get to the medical subsection and find Grassi. Why is it that no one listens to me? The security protocols on the Xerxes system are clearly immature. Some idiot... Xerxes has control of the ship's security system. Avoid or destroy any security cameras you see. You can hack security computers to power down the cameras too, if you're good enough. But don't botch the job, or you'll set off the alarm yourself. Your corpse is useless to me.
Make your selection. Thank you for choosing value wrap. Access needed. Each deck has a chemical storeroom where you can find the resources you need to research the artifacts you'll find around the ship. Don't try to carry around all the chemicals at once. It's impractical and unnecessary. Your research software will tell you what chemicals it needs and when. <laughs>
Good. You've managed to get into med. Now find Grassy and get the key card to the new sector. He's the one who put in your crimes. He's not really interested in joining you. If he hasn't been butchered yet, tomorrow. Do you know your intentions? Are you allied with her? Do you not know of her intentions? Of her history? She once tried to destroy your species, and now you do her bidding. Intruder entering Medical Sector A. Yes. 
Energy alert terminated. Please make your selection. Please make your selection. Hey, 
got called up around 0430 to help unload the shuttle coming back. I've been unable to get... Ever since we reached Tau Ceti, the lab monkeys have been acting strangely. Nurse Lesser picked one out of a cage to be brought... are communicating with each other. I assure you it Damn! The power outage has also taken out access to this bulkhead. It's the only way to get to the medical subsection. Xerxes has control. Good. You've made it into the crew sector. Now find Dr. Watts' room. Damn Bronson and her stupid procedures. She's changed the code on the Medsci 2 sub-armor. Good. You've made it into the crew sector. We have picked up a transmission from the surface of Tau City 5. I've been... Security system. God damn Bronson and her stupid procedures. She's changed the code on the Medsci 2 sub-armory again. Now I've got to head back up to deck four to find out what it is. Somebody's gonna fry the Security forces someday. have been alerted to your presence, intruder. The glory of the many demands your capture or destruction. Xerxes. Remember, replicator restrictions are in place for the good of all of us. All unauthorized database interactions will be dealt with to the utmost degree of the law.
Watts isn't here, so he's probably in his office in the R&D sector. Maybe he's got a backup R&D card in here. Take a look around. Well done. I'm uploading some more modules. Make your selection.
another. We... has 